some uh, important market opinion now. Morgan Stanley's chief global strategist, Ruchi Sharma, is betting big on the European recovery. Uh, listen in to an exclusive excerpt of the conversation with CNBC. I think that the bigger uh, comeback story of the, fast, uh, of the past few months has been Europe. Uh, that's, I think, been the single biggest economic surprise in the global economy. In the current quarter, the European economy is growing at well above 2%. In fact, over the past year, the European economy has grown at a pace which is slightly faster than the U.S. economy. It's been a very long time since that's happened. So I think that this is what's really going on in the marketplace, that we have signs of a synchronous global upturn which is taking place. But this is like very cyclical in nature, but at least for now, this is the good news. And Europe and Japan have been the two places which have led with the growth surprises worldwide. I think that this is a very important change which is taking place, that the dollar is basically exhausting its third major bull market in the post Bretton Woods history, which is that the dollar's uh, bull market seems to be coming to an end. And so therefore, I think that this is some very important investment implication that basically means that you need to invest much more internationally and underweight the United States. The dollar's bull market is quite extended. And against many currencies now, it's, it looks very expensive, whether it's the Mexican peso, even currencies such as the euro and the yen, the dollar screens as quite expensive and has already had a very big run over the last five years. I'm much uh, less optimistic about commodity prices, including oil, because I feel that as far as oil is concerned, the supply story is really turning around, which is that I think people have underestimated how productive uh, U.S. shale is and uh, how quickly U.S. shale supply can come back to the market. And I'm also quite concerned about what's happening in places such as China, which is that you've had a massive debt boom in China, which is what has led to this big surge in commodity prices over the last year. But that is showing signs of cooling now. So I wouldn't sort of take the dollar to sort of mean that commodity prices are also going high. I think those correlations have already broken down in the last six to nine months. All right. On that note, we're going to wrap up 